Here is a quick video. I'm going to show you how to make a bootable SSD or USB from a Windows 10, Windows 11 or any Windows PE image ISO file. So here I've got a SSD plugged in and that's the disk utility showing it's an XFAT and I have downloaded a Windows 10 ISO that's a Windows 10 ISO 4.5 gigabytes and I'll show you how to burn that onto the uh, SSD or USB. So we'll go to the laptop screen. Here we go. Okay, that's nice and clear. Now, so first thing we want to do is identify our disk. So the best way to do it, if you're not sure, disconnect the drive. So it's disconnected. And I can't see it under disk utility. So what you can do now so the disk util list it will show type in your computer's password it will show all the hard drives in your computer so at the moment we don't see the external drive so now i'm going to reconnect it it is now reconnected and i press the up arrow on the keyboard to run the same command again and we can see dev disk 2 that's our external drive it's a 256 gig. It's, um, I like to use SSDs like this for bootable devices. It makes it really quick. Or you can use any USB. So, what we're going to do now is unmount it. So, again, sudo disk util unmount mount disk dev disk 2. And we're going to unmount the lowest partition. So, S2. Yep, and just make sure the remainings are all unmounted. Great, there we go. They're all unmounted. As you see there, I did a hierarchy of all of them. 2, 1, 0, and the main one. 2, 1, 0, and the main one. Okay, now the next part is very important. Now this command, sudo, is very dangerous. Anything you do now, after this DD, it will execute, it won't do any confirmation with you. So, DD is the command. So, if input file, point it to the Windows ISO file, and output file is going to be the device itself, dev disk 2. And BS is one megabyte. Larger the file size you're burning, you're flashing, you can use the large block size like this. And just check if it's okay. Yep, there we go. And if you want to see progress, control T. And you can see that's about one gigabyte a second. This is a NVMe. Great. So that's 100 gigabytes already transferred, 100 megabytes, sorry, 1 gigabyte. Uh, let's see, here we go, we should be done soon. I'm pressing Control T every time. There we go. It is correct. TFH to see all the devices and with their file system size, as you can see now. Um, let's have a look at disk utility. Disk utility. And now that's our drive there. And I'm going to now pull it out and pull it back in. Let's see what happens. Eject it, put it back in, and you can see ESD ISO. And if you look at the contents, there we go. That's a bootable Windows SSD or USB. Okay, so thanks for watching. See you in the next one.